my name is Lita. I own Tone Hair Salon in Raleigh, North Carolina. I, if you're not following me, go ahead and subscribe to my channel because I'm going to be doing a color correction today. I'm also on TikTok and Instagram, Lita Fazal. So my guest here, you want to look down, she's got some beautiful natural silvers and she's got some dark hair, but there's a lot of silver. So I would say she's probably about maybe like 65% gray, okay? And then she's got some uh, artificial color from mid shaft to ends. She did use a clarifying shampoo like I requested um, about a week or two before her appointment. So I'm gonna walk you guys through what I'm gonna do to transition her, the start of the transition to get her to a gray blending, okay? So the first thing that I'm actually gonna do is clarify her. And then we're gonna use a product called CPR. It's by Malibu. I'm gonna put that in her hair and it's gonna sit for about 45 minutes under the timer first. So she wants to take off a good bit. We're taking her right here, right below your shoulder. Sound good? Excellent. All right. Bye bye. Buck stud. Okay, now we shall begin. This is CPR. So I mix it with four ounces of warm water and my assistant right now is clarifying her and then putting this treatment on. She's gonna be with a cap on her head, sitting under heat for 45 minutes. Now I'm gonna go ahead and tell you, you're not gonna see a huge difference, but when I go to lighten it, it will be a game changer. So let's let her process and we'll show you the results soon. All right, it's been about 20 minutes. She has the CPR mixed with warm water and heat. And right now what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to mush it around a little. And you can already see, like you can see a little bit of that dark color on here. So we know it's working, but it's one of those things, it's not like a magical thing, but what's gonna happen is that when I go in with the lightener, it's going to lift a whole lot easier. And you will see a little difference. Um, this is also very gentle on the hair, so I don't have to worry about damage. Also, it won't do anything with her natural, so her gray that she has here now will stay perfect. That's why I like to use this type of color remover first. I am taking a 60 second ad break here. Today on my client, I'm going to use the moisturizing serum set because man, she's gonna need some moisture after this, okay? So I've got the moisturizing shampoo, conditioner, and serum by JK Hair. All right, let us let me just show you what this looks like too. This has been one of my all-time favorite brands, so I'm super excited about this product. And let me just show you. Here you go. This is the moisturizing shampoo the conditioner, and then this serum looks bomb. I'm super excited about this. Boom. We're gonna use this on my client today, doing her gray transition. Like I said, she's going to need a lot of moisture, so let's try this guy out. All right, guys, so she has sat for 45 minutes. If you wanna look up close, this is the residue. Um, it's definitely darker, um, but it's, you know, still she's got some of her dark, it just lightens it up just a little bit and it will make the highlighting process a whole lot easier. So we're gonna clarify this about three times, condition it, and then we're gonna start her highlights. CPR has done its job for 45 minutes. We're gonna clarify her uh, two times and then we're gonna actually use this clarifying treatment and that'll sit on her hair for another 10 minutes. We've rinsed the clarifying treatment off, and I know it's hard to tell, but it is definitely lighter. It's more of a brown versus the black that she had. Now what I'm gonna do is I have mixed up a lightener bath. That's what we're gonna call it, a lightener bath, okay? And I'm just going to pop this on her ends just to give me a little more push when I go in to give her her highlights to blend out the current gray. Now, keep in mind, I'm still keeping off her natural color that she has. 
All right, next up I will show you at my station right before I start coiling her. I'm going to tease all her hair. So all of it will be in the foil except for where I tease. And I'll show you what I do with the tees after I'm done using the lightener. And this is um, 20 volume. make bread, okay? So that is precious right there. Um, the only thing hairdressers can do is lighten it up and tone it gray, but natural gray hair, natural silver hair is impossible to make. So that's why I don't want to touch that. All right, but I am hitting where she, um, you know, got the old color that she has. I've got a semi-permanent color here, and I, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to color up the teasy part that was left out. I'm not going right through her root, but just covering up the teasy parts, and then like you know this like strand here. Um, it's a level five, six-ish uh, ash, and it's just going to give me a nice, pretty blend and also take care of the hair that was teased out. And I'm gonna do this throughout her entire head. Um, Caitlin was asking me, why are the ends darker? Okay, so that was a very good valid question. The reason is uh, either two things. Either she used something different than what she previously did, or what happens sometimes at home is when they apply their root, they apply it down to the ends as well. So the ends happen to get overlap of overlap of overlap of dark, 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 dark. So that's why they're harder to pull up. All right, so she's gonna start taking out We are going to use the GK shampoo and conditioner and the serum afterwards. So we're gonna start off. No, what am I doing wrong here? Okay, there is a safety seal, it's just inside, which I freaking love that already, by the way, because a lot of brands are not putting, they're not putting safety seals. And I'm sorry, I think that's extremely important, so kudos to you guys. And now this is the moisturizing and Lord knows she's gonna need it. Okay, we did a lot of stuff on her. She had black uh, box dye, y'all. So, ooh, it's nice and sudsy. I like it, I like it. Your head okay, girl? You good, you good? Good. Mm -hmm. A little bit really did go a very long way. All right, conditioner next. Okay. Time for the conditioner. We're gonna make sure the safety seal is off, which again, I love that they have that on there. All right, this is the moisturizing and she has been through a full color correction. So we're gonna, ooh, it feels good. Mm. It smells good. It smells like, mm. Almost like a, like a baby oil. Like a like a brand new baby. <laughs> like, you know when they smell really good after yes! you give them a bath? It smells like a 
like a newborn baby. <laughs> <laughs> fresh baby. <laughs> I mean, who doesn't love uh, the fresh baby, fresh baby smell? She's gonna have fresh hair, so let me use a little more. It really does smell delicious. Only the best. All right, so we're gonna rinse this, and then we're gonna use the serum next. Right there. Baboon. GK serum time. Wonder if this smells like newborn baby. Mm. It smells good. Okay, when I apply this, I am going from her ends, working my way to her mid shaft because nobody needs any type of serum at the root, okay? Not a lot of people do. So, mid shaft ends, we're gonna blow dry. Here she is, it's gonna grow out beautifully, which is the main thing, right? Because you don't see, like it just blends. You see her, her natural blend right into where we use the uh, TZ light and um, technique. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoy and don't forget to subscribe. And follow me on TikTok, Instagram, leave us all.